For the record, can I get your name, position, and your title? My name's Brandon Crane. I'm the shop foreman at CMA's Williamsburg Ford. And how long have you been an owner here at CMA? Since our buy sell in May, so a few months. Briefly discuss what you did before getting into the auto business and why you decided to, to be an automotive technician. Uh, actually I actually studied this in college. Uh, and I've been doing it pretty much my entire adult life since I was 19 years old. I've been doing this professionally. And before then, in high school, I bagged groceries. <laughs> right on. <Yeah. laughs> well, you seem like you like it. That's great. Yeah, I yeah. keep coming back every day. So <laughs> that says something. Yes, it does. What excites you most about being a part of CMA? Uh, they care. Uh, you're actually able to put a name to a face on some higher ups. Um, usually in the corporate world, you work around a bunch of people, you know, suits come rolling in, you don't have names or faces, and they don't know who you are. And, and with CMA, it's a totally different situation than that. They know who you are, and they'll come around and make sure that you're taken care of, and if you have any needs to help you out with your work, they, they honor that, and they'll take your consideration and take advice or insight from you, you know, on the ground level, doing what you're doing every day, and that, that says something. It, it does. It does. What would you say to someone interested in being uh, an automotive technician here at CMA? I'll say do it, chase it down. Um, the talent pool is very shallow. Uh, we need lots of technicians, we need talent. Mm -hmm. um, you got a lot of people that are chasing down four year degrees to try to you know, make a good six figure income. Mm -hmm. It's definitely very easily done. I've seen it happen multiple times within these four walls. Wow. Uh, if you chase it down, you can do it. If you got it in your head and in your heart. We need tradespeople. Um, this, this is not a dead trade. It's getting more advanced by the decade. Now, what training did you receive prior to working here at CMA? I actually went to Universal Technical Institute, part of NASCAR Technical Institute in Mooresville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I studied core automotive fundamentals, NASCAR applications, cool. and Ford fact. I graduated with 11 Ford certifications, so walking in the door, I kind of had a leg up on the competition. Right on. And you could pretty much do anything you wanted to with this career. That's, That's awesome. why there's always new training that Ford's putting out, and we have to stay up to date on it because we can't fall to the wayside. We have to be the absolute pinnacle of service right. working at the dealership. What other goals are you pursuing? I think my goals are the same as anybody's goals. Um, have a nice house, have cool toys, live comfortably, and retire debt free. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of my goals. That's um, a great goal. Yeah, CMA makes that possible. They have the ESOP program yeah. and, and a 401k with Matt. So. Yeah, 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 you're definitely I, on, your, on, think, on the path. I think it's feasible. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, man. Yeah. What's a fun fact you feel comfortable sharing about yourself? Um, I like drag racing. It's one of my hobbies. Okay. Uh, Friday night street race and go out and race with my buddies. It's a okay. Drag okay. It's sanctioned and legal. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How well do you do? Uh, pretty good. Uh, had uh, all kinds of different cars over the years, anything from 10 second to 12 second cars, but pretty much just grudge, run, grudge runs between friends. Right on. So. Right on. Cool. Is there anything positive you'd like to add to this discussion? Um, yeah, I would say to uh, anybody that is young and willing to get into this field. Um, or, I mean, anything automotive related, whether it's in service department, sales department, or anything, um, chase it down. Uh, try to find a way to master the craft to the point that other masters of that craft can sit back and appreciate how far you've taken it, and uh, then to continue to innovate from there, because getting your hands on absolutely everything you can mm -hmm. and exiting your comfort zone at any time possible from a professional standpoint can only benefit you from the end. Mm -hmm. It'll pretty much make you stick out so much they can't ignore you. Amen. And you'll go far. Amen. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for talking to you. Yeah, no problem.